And uh, to me, it was a tremendous honor. And uh, I was proud. What can I say? I was very proud. What about your memories of uh, matches with uh, Magnum TA? Probably one of the most intense, stiffest guys I've ever been in the ring with. And stiff means, buddy, he would knock your head off. And no other way to, to put it. Those days, Magnum was about 255 and uh, in that weight room constantly and intense as anybody else. He was, he was hungry. He was starving. He wanted to be the best wrestler in the world. And, uh, buddy, he let you know it every time out there. But it was always a money match when you were in it. No problem with fan involvement. They were into it. They loved him. And uh, he would have been one of the greatest of all time if right. it hadn't been for the tragedy. When that happened, the uh, car accident, I mean, how was the locker room affected? Pretty devastating. Killed, killed us. Killed us all. It was the first situation I'd been in the business where you had a tragedy of that magnitude. I'd seen every injury you could see. Uh, there weren't a lot of, of paralyzed situations in those days because the style of wrestling was, was a lot more, there wasn't a lot of stuff going on off the top rope which has caused a lot more injuries. I mean, I saw the knees being blown out, the broken ankles, and, you know, the cracked ribs. I saw the standard injuries, but car wreck, and they said, you know, we, we went up there first thing the next morning, and the first thing they told us is, you know, he may not make it through the night tonight. He probably won't. Uh, that just takes your breath. You know, here's one of the guys laying there, one of your friends, and we were so close. Jim Crockett Promotions in those days the guys were so close, and you have no idea. Uh, the rivalry was always there, the competitiveness, but we were like a traveling band of gypsies because there wasn't a lot of flying going on at first. It was get in your car and go, sometimes 600 miles, you know, round trip, and a lot of times, you know, 800 miles round trip. And when you're in a car four deep for six, 700 miles every day of the week, there's a lot of camaraderie in you with those same guys. Nothing, no such thing as a day off. In 85, 86, and 87, there was no such thing as a day off. Seven days a week, boom. Jim Crockett, we never took a day down except for Christmas. So, you know, it hurt us. He was, was like your brother, right. being paralyzed.